Hi, uh, this is Gene from iFixSmartphone.com. Today I'm gonna do this little tutorial about what is digitizer, what is LCD, LED, or glass um, of the uh, cell phone or smartphone uh, screen. I get so many questions about what is digitizer and I actually do have some little description on our website but I thought it would be better idea to give you a video description so that you can understand it better anyway so I got this uh, screens in here uh, this is from the Galaxy S4 broken screen so I was able to just take it apart to show you and this is the LG G3 components as well um, usually when the uh, glass breaks and the display works it is possible to replace the glass only to save um, the cost of the repair but if you if the LED goes out then you know there's no choice but to replace the whole component which drives the cost very high um, anyway so when you get a call for a quote or have the customers coming in with the questions asking what is glass or what's digitizer so I wanted to show you so first of all usually uh, we're using this Galaxy S4 screen sample here this is how the screen actually comes out is in the phone and how it is made is they got the glass on top and the digitizer and the LED it's are fused together like this so that it makes the uh, one complete screen but this right now the uh, digitizer is actually fused to the LED so I got this Galaxy S5 here which I was able to separate so I wanted to show you so you got this Galaxy S5 glass that breaks and here's the uh, AM AMOLED AMOLED display the uh, Samsung makes right here so look how paper thin this is this, this is why it breaks so easily and this is the uh, digitizer that detects the touch so without this it will display the picture here but the touch screen will not work because without the digitizer it's not it's just a display unit so this is the one that detects the touch the all the mo sensor modules are here and what the Samsung did was to they actually solder the um, digitizer connector to the LED connection and that goes to the motherboard and do, does it, uh, it makes the phone work and to protect and to protect this component they fuse the glass on top so when you have a broken screen and if the glass is broken only you can definitely get this glass off and replace it and you know and have you go but if this component breaks if the digitizer or LED breaks but then there's no um, the parts first of the part is not available and this is the most expensive part of the phone so if this LED goes out then you have to replace the whole screen getting the whole complete unit like this and then so that's why when the glass breaks only the phone still works in Samsung and uh, iPhone and Motorola and many manufacturers phones when the glass breaks it still works because the digitizer is still okay um, it, and as long as the digitizer is not cracked or damaged the phone still will work and also of course the LED so if this goes out or any of the one of the components if one of these two components goes out then the phone's not gonna work but if the glass breaks only then you can save money by replacing the glass only and off you go and so that's the how the Samsung so that's what the digitizer is so here's the glass digitizer and a display unit LED or LCD depending on what the manufacturer uses LCD is used by um, iPhones and LG's and um, some HTC models LED units are used on, on some of the HTC model and Motorola phones and then here so we got this LG phone that uses LCD and what they did was the uh, they use the uh, older other technology which is they use the LCD which just displays the picture only and they what they do is they fuse the digitizer to the glass so and then they fuse 
these two units together, making it as one screen. That's why on certain LG models, when the when you only have see this one only has like hairline crack right on the glass, but that was enough to cause to cause the uh, uh, give effect damage effect the digitizer which is fused to the glass. That's why this was a non-working phone. The touch would not work at all. I and mean, it will work down here, but the top part, top part wouldn't work because the connectors are cut. And yet the display was fine. So this is another way so we can remove the digitizer and the glass together and replace this so that customers can save money also. So this is another way how they make the phone. Actually, this is what the, um, um, the first, I guess the first, and second generation of the iPhone up to the iPhone 3GS. This is what they did. They had the glass and the digitizer fused and they had the LCD separately and they came together. And back then they didn't actually fuse it. So, um, I have this iPhone 3GS screen here. And or well, this is not assembled. This is a complete assembled unit. So LCD was not fused to the LCD. So, and then after the uh, 3GS, when iPhone 4 came, what the uh, Apple did was to fuse that digitizer, LCD, and the glass together as one piece. And first of all, at the time, the the, um, the cost of repair actually went up because you know you had to replace whole screen. But after the technology technology evolved we are able to separate the glass without damaging the LCD or the digitizer or the digitizer so that you can save money. So um, I just want to give you a little explanation what digitizer is, what is LCD or LED is. So that's what it is. So finally again to summarize, um, LCD or LED is the one that displays the picture just like the TV. Digitizer is the one that detects your touch, touch the tip of your finger or the stylus, whatever. If you if this was made to detect the stylus, you can use a stylus. And so that detects the finger and the movement. And the glass here sits on top to protect that two components. So how I, I hope uh, this uh, little video helps you to understand what the uh, what those terms are meant terms are and um, if you have any other questions please visit, visit us at ifixsmartphone.com and drop us an email thank you for watching